Welcome to the Advanced Library Associate Training Overview. You should have already completed the Expanded Early Start program that gave you some basic insights into library service. This course will address more advanced topics and address the soft skills needed to be a successful librarian or library staff member in today's public library. There are 10 online synchronous sessions in this class including an intro session, as well as a capstone project that we will describe later in this lesson. Here is what we will cover in the modules. First, you will be introduced to how Maryland Public Libraries interact and some of the challenges we face, as well as the topic of intellectual freedom. In the second module, we will discuss professional ethics, including privacy and digital rights management. Next, we will explore exceptional customer service, especially with difficult customers and people we might find it difficult to relate to. We will also learn about our interconnected world, focusing on digital literacy, privacy, and technical challenges and opportunities for librarians. We will also talk about services for adults, including serving people who are experiencing homelessness or mental illness and we will talk about readers and viewers advisory as well. In teen services, we will explore how libraries can support teens and help them develop in positive ways. In children's services, we will learn how to help families engage with their child's learning and help children find the perfect book. We will also take a look at partnerships to support children and children's programming. Finally, at graduation, you will get to share your capstone project in a three-minute presentation and learning about opportunities for future professional development as well. For the capstone project, you will observe and evaluate an adult program, a teen program, and a children's program at your library. Or, if you have already done a program that you like, you can use that idea. You will develop a marketing plan for your program. This may be print materials, word of mouth, social media, press releases to local newspapers. You will then plan with your supervisor and brainstorm ways to make your program better. You'll develop your program using a program proposal worksheet and posting your ideas in three open forum discussion boards where you can exchange ideas with your colleagues. Finally, you will upload your program worksheet and marketing plan worksheet to OpenLMS. Your plan will be posted on the Merlin Community website as well to inspire others across the state. Then you'll make a three minute presentation or elevator pitch at graduation. You'll be cheered on by your cohort and library colleagues. We will be using OpenLMS to support all your work in this cohort. Each module has pre-session work that should be completed prior to attending class. Since we use the flipped classroom, we will be using the information learned in the pre-session readings, videos, and activities for our work in class. The next section contains information on synchronous online meetings, including Zoom, worksheets needed for class, and other handy instructions. There's also a short assignment or reflection to be completed after the class. This will usually be either an open forum discussion or an online journal reflection. You may post your reflections in writing or as a video or a podcast. And finally, there's a book with references for all the resources used in class and suggestions for further reading and professional development. You may download the book as a handy resource for the future. So, some tips. Pre-session work. Work ahead. Not all the modules have the same amount of pre-session work. Some modules, such as teen services, have a lot of required reading and will require more work prior to class. Estimates of time required to complete the pre-session work are available on the class schedule embedded in the course website below this video. 
try and work ahead on the pre-session work and the capstone project when you can. Usually, part of the LATI experience is going to different branches across the state. And one of the requirements for participating in LATI is the ability to get to these branches. However, due to COVID-19, the entire cohort has moved online. And that means Zoom. We have some videos to help get you started, and we'll be hosting an introductory session for you to troubleshoot and learn how to interact and be on Zoom with us. You need to come to these Zoom meetings prepared to participate, which means your camera and your mic is on, and this is in order to earn credit. We'll be using the flipped classroom model as much as possible in these Zoom meetings. That means that we'll be doing a lot of discussing and sharing in class. This is a great opportunity to learn from each other and develop your own personal learning network. During class, participate. Even though it may be a little out of your comfort zone, LETI is a great and safe place to practice skills and develop your own words so that you have them when you need them. Also, Take care of yourself during class. We don't always have time for formal breaks. If you need to step away from your computer for a minute or two to use the restroom, get a drink, take care of something personal, please do it. Your post-session work is generally either a reflection in your online journal or an open forum post. This should take no more than 15 minutes to complete. So my suggestion is that you try to get it done before you leave class or class is finished. You will each be receiving a tablet. That's configured to use with OpenLMS and it has audio and video capability. Experiment with it. Record audio, record video, and use it in class to participate or do research in your small groups. Once you're finished with LATI, you'll need to return your tablet to your system's staff development coordinator or your HR department. That's it. Laura and I are here to help. Ask us anything. We want to make sure that your learning experience is as stress-free as possible. Here's our contact information, and we look forward to seeing you online.